Sir, it is a tremendous pleasure to be here aboard your ship. And what a ship it is. A BT-7, if I'm not mistaken. One of the Pollard designs. A very fine vessel, appropriate for the Republic's best. We will ride this Durasteel Eagle into the heart of the Empire, and bring our fight for freedom to the door of the Emperor himself. We'll get to that as soon as our other missions are complete. Fantastic, sir. I have loaded all pertinent data. Let us proceed with our noble duty. Sir, allow me to reiterate my pleasure at serving in your command. Since my Verbo brain was first activated, I have longed to engage the enemies of freedom directly. Under your noble leadership, I can finally fulfill the mission the Republic's peerless scientists designed me for. A Republic war droids normally so eager for violence? I apologize, sir. I have no love for violence, merely a passion for annihilating all threats to our glorious society. I assure you, I was designed by one of the foremost minds in the Republic, Dr. Boab Didon. Thanks to Dr. Deaton, I can understand the importance of our fight, and the extent of the threats we face, and I can fight harder for it. There's nothing better than fighting for a cause you believe in. I couldn't agree more, sir. It is an amazing thing to know that you are exceptional, sir. I'm sure you know the feeling, given your incredible service record. My programming, my weaponry, my armor, all state-of-the-art, and my power core, a true marvel. Other droids may look like me or have some of my capabilities, but none of them have my power core. I'm very proud to be so unique. Do you ever stop talking about yourself? I am always happy to discuss the Republic's achievements, and I do feel that I'm an excellent example. I see Havoc Squad in much the same way. We are set apart from other infantry teams by one thing. You. Thanks to your wise and courageous leadership, Havoc Squad is the finest military unit in the Republic. You are what makes Havoc special. Flattery is a waste of time, Forex. Agreed, sir. That's why I always speak the simple truth. Let's return to the fight, sir. It's already been too long since I saw Imperial soldiers stomped into the muck where they belong. Sir, if you have a moment, I've developed an initiative to improve morale amongst our fellow soldiers. As we both know, Havoc Squad is the finest military team ever assembled. Our triumphs prove to the public that victory is near. Unfortunately, as a team, even we can only accomplish so many victories in a given amount of time. Therefore, I would like to undertake additional assignments on my own time. You expect me to authorize you for solo ops? Yes, sir. And not just normal operations, either. I'd like to coordinate with Command and the SIS to find extra targets. Imperial personnel no one else could challenge. And neutralize them. Havoc has enough work to do as it is, Forex. But, sir, I could make a real difference. My calculations suggest the Republic's forces' morale would increase more than 18% for each impossible target I neutralize. Such incredible victories would demoralize the putrid citizens of the Empire as much as they would encourage our heroic comrades. It won't do the Republic much good if you get shot to pieces. That's correct, sir. My calculations have shown that the inspirational value of martyrdom is less than 16%, with a maximum duration of only 14 months. As always, we are left with no choice but absolute victory. I'll inform you as soon as I locate a suitable target, sir. Sir, I found our first potential target for the Morale Improvement Initiative, an Imperial propagandist known as the Ambassador. I've collected a sample of his lies for your review. Friends, the Ambassador would have you know that you needn't live in fear. You needn't bow to men who are your inferiors. In the Empire, you can live a life of purpose and accomplishment, where only those most fit to rule guide our society. A life of greatness. Just a few seconds of that guy talking is enough for me. These spurious recordings are broadcast all over the galaxy, filling people with doubts about our noble cause. The Ambassador is the public face of our enemy. Removing him will boost Republic troops' morale and combat effectiveness. This guy isn't even a soldier. He's a broadcaster. I respectfully disagree, sir. He is a soldier, waging war on the hearts and minds of our people. The SIS is actively searching for the Ambassador. 
but he's difficult to track down. As soon as I have more information, you'll be the first to know, sir. Sir, we've had a breakthrough. The ambassador has been spotted. He's staying in a suite at the Star Cluster Casino on Narshada. If I move quickly, I can take him before he's relocated. I don't know if there's time for this. The incredibly high risk factors demand a swift operation, sir. I'll be finished in no time. For the Republic! Sir, I am pleased to report that the mission was a complete success. Though the Ambassador had 15 armed guards in his casino suite, I managed to storm through them all, grab the lying fool, and leap out through the window. Sounds like you really took them by surprise. Very much so, sir. The enemy never had a chance. Having timed my assault perfectly, the Ambassador and I landed on a passing Ugnaught salvage scow after a mere 130 meter fall. Once I had made my apologies to the proprietors of the scow, I turned my prisoner over to the SIS, and the toll of liberty rang out across the galaxy. Wasn't the ambassador at least injured by that fall? He suffered only minor injuries. Fifteen fractures, some lacerations and abrasions, and a ruptured spleen. Nothing Bacta and a skilled surgical droid can't fix. Now that the ambassador's influence won't be spewing across the galaxy, I suspect we'll see a marked improvement in Republic morale. The only problem now will be selecting an even more impressive target. I've been reviewing morale surveys and after-action combat effectiveness reports, and I have good news! For the period following the neutralization of the Ambassador, statistics are up throughout the Republic's armed forces. Is there any proof that your mission is the cause? Proof? One of the Empire's most public figures was felled in a single stroke. What else could it be? I am concerned that we might see diminishing returns from future missions, unless our targets become even more impressive, though. Havoc Squad's new quarry will have to be someone truly savage. A merciless threat to all that's good and decent in the galaxy. We can't be sidetracked hunting individual targets, Forex. We have other duties. Of course, sir. I will not allow my investigations to interfere with our other operations. We'll have this war won in no time, sir. Sir, I'm wondering if you'd be kind enough to share what you know about Force users. I've only been programmed with a basic knowledge of Jedi and Sith capabilities. What do you think about them? The Jedi are crazy, and the only people crazier are the Sith. I had noticed that many of their beliefs are illogical with regard to the defense of a state. I only ask because it is a commonly held belief that so-called ordinary soldiers are no match for force users in combat. Clearly that belief is false, but it persists. I suggest that I target a notable Sith Lord and neutralize him publicly. I've always wanted to put those slime balls in their place. I'm glad you share my enthusiasm. I'll let you know as soon as I find a suitable target. Sir, I've discovered the perfect target for our next operation. Lord Kavos. Kavos is a marauding Sith Lord responsible for countless deaths. Exactly the type of dangerous scum we're uniquely qualified to eliminate. He sounds like an excellent choice. Lord Kavos single-handedly destroyed a Republic outpost on Brentald IV, massacring its personnel. He fought and killed two Jedi Knights simultaneously. According to intelligence reports, this Butcher is becoming a hero to the Empire's ravening masses. Neutralizing him will help our cause greatly. What did they say about killing two Jedi Knights? Aisha and Nil, two renowned Jedi with years of combat experience. Lord Kavos cut them down without suffering a single injury. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to facing this threat head-on, sir. I'm going to begin my search right away. Success, sir. Lord Kavos has foolishly given away his position. To all who excel in the arts of death, be it known that Lord Kavos, Master of Combat, seeks a lieutenant to serve him. I seek a worthy right hand to carry out my commands across the galaxy and profit immensely. Those who think themselves suited should present themselves at the coordinates included in this message. 
Come prepared. Cavus is just trying to lure in his enemies. That might be true, sir, but no amount of planning could prepare him to face Havoc Squad. The coordinates are on Tatooine, sir. I recommend we move quickly before Cavus can find a suitable lieutenant and move on. Or the Republic! Target neutralized, sir. Lord Kavos will threaten the innocent people of the galaxy no longer. As expected, his overconfidence made his defeat all but certain. I simply took my place among the scum, hoping to gain his favor, then struck at the first opportunity. I'm surprised you didn't charge straight in. Of course not. This was a situation calling for shrewd tactics. Lord Kavos decided that a fight to the death would determine his champion, every man for himself. Once the fighting began, I closed in. I started by grabbing a Nikto thug who was making liberal use of a flamethrower. With pinpoint accuracy, I hurled him toward Kavos, whose robes were instantly ignited. I wish I could have seen the look on Kavos's face. I would estimate that he was surprised, sir. Although Kavos was thoroughly distracted, I remained cautious and did not engage him directly. Instead, I targeted a nearby Mandalorian using a jetpack. As soon as his velocity and flight vector were pointed correctly, I opened fire with my cannons, sending him barreling into Kavos and the Nikto. The explosion did the rest. You probably shouldn't let this one go to your head, Forex. I'm not sure I understand, sir. This was a critical victory. Our comrades are sure to take heart when they hear that a monster like Kavos has been laid low. I'll begin searching for a new target at once. I have excellent news, sir. Given the rigorous nature of Havoc Squad's missions, my power core has seen extensive use and its capabilities have increased as a result. I now have access to far greater energy reserves, significantly improving the quality of my service to the Republic. You need more discipline, not more power. I do not understand your meaning, sir. My designers ensured that I am the most disciplined soldier conceivable by modern science. Please, sir. If I may make a request, let's engage in combat as soon as possible. I'm eager to put my new capabilities to the test. Sir, if I may ask, I was wondering about your opinion on Imperial superweapons. Devices that can devastate entire fleets or worlds in a single strike. I find them intriguing. A superweapon or two would end this war a lot faster. I agree. These devices may be the product of twisted and sadistic minds but they're still exceptional pieces of technology. Given these weapons' capabilities, I've been researching Imperial weapon designers to find a worthy target for Havoc Squad. One name stands out above all others, Colonel Rebus, the head of one of the Empire's top weapons research programs. You'll just keep picking harder targets until you're destroyed, won't you? Based on the intelligence I've collected, this operation will fall well within our squad's acceptable survival probability of 4,790 to 1. I have located no personal information on Colonel Rebus, not even a physical description. Over the past two weeks, however, mentions of his name on Imperial comm channels have increased in frequency by 15.2%. This suggests a project nearing completion. Maybe the imps are chatting about how useless the guy is. That would be a stark contrast with all of our available intelligence, sir. The location of Colonel Rebus' research lab is one of the most closely guarded secrets in the Empire. No information is available as yet. As soon as I learn more, I'll inform you right away. Sir, I found information on weapons projects that Colonel Rebus was involved in. Would you like to hear about them? Unless you know where he is, I don't want to hear about it. Oh, very well, sir. Huh? Our opportunity has arrived, sir. We've received intelligence reports that Colonel Rebus is about to test his latest project. A secret proving ground has been established on Hoth. Security will be extensive, but nothing compared to Rebus's usual protection. I hate that frozen rock. It's fitting that vermin would take shelter in such an inhospitable location. Neutralizing Colonel Rebus will devastate the Empire's weapons programs. Even I cannot calculate the number of lives that this mission could save. By robbing our enemies of their most despicable weapons, we will rob them of victory, ensuring freedom for generations to come.
It was a trap, sir. Colonel Rebus was even more devious than I had expected. Sounds like you underestimated your target. I was not alone in the deception. The SIS also believed this was a genuine opportunity to strike. All of the hints and clues that led me to Rebus were fabricated. It was all a scheme to capture my power core. As soon as I defeated the last of the Imperial security teams and confronted Rebus, he activated a specially built device that overloaded my primary energy controls. I was frozen. I'm surprised you got out in one piece. It was a very tense situation, no doubt about it. As Rebus and his final few guards approached, I discovered that I still had control over a handful of secondary subsystems. By manipulating those systems, I was able to trigger a full emergency shutdown and a rear servo lock, violently propelling me forward just as Rebus came to face me. I guess that's one way to take someone down. It was a desperate ploy, but it was successful. As I'd hoped, shutting down my power core caused Rebus's device to shut down as well. All systems were restored within 96 seconds. Rebus's surviving guards were still attempting to lift me off of him at the time, so I dealt with them and carried the colonel back to base. Mission accomplished. These missions have to stop, Forex. They're too dangerous. Nothing is too dangerous for Havoc Squad, sir. With Rebus in custody, the entire galaxy is a safer place. It will be some time before I can locate an even more impressive target. As soon as I do, you'll be the first to know. Sir... I cannot describe how proud I am of Havoc Squad's accomplishments. By all measurable statistics, we've had a real and significant effect on the Republic's success in the war against the Empire. You are an unparalleled leader, a warrior without equal. As long as I continue to function, I will proudly serve at your side. I am planning on retiring someday, Forex. And when you do, I'm certain that I will receive special dispensation to carry on as your loyal bodyguard and comrade in arms. Someday soon, the Republic will march to victory atop the burnt husk of the Empire, with Havoc Squad leading the charge. <laughs>